Good morning everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So today it is July the 2nd. It's a Monday. The time is at 5 to 9. Now I've been hinting at sharing a collaboration with you guys over the past couple of months and finally today I can share it with you. So I'm currently stood outside the National Gallery and what's this Trafalgar Square? <laughs> what's this? How Londoner am I? And also that was terrible English. Um, and I'm not saying that this is linked to the collaboration, but I'm just on my way to meet with the team from Decenio because today we are going around London to my favourite spots and we're going to be shooting some prints for a new signature London collection. I've got Mr. Shmee with me this morning. Now we're just going to head off and meet the Decenio team outside their hotel and then we're going to make our way to our first shoot location of the day. So this is kind of going to be a bit of a behind the scenes vlog. You're going to see all the action and then if you stay tuned to the end you're going to see the new collection, the London collection. Okay we are at our first location which I don't know if you can tell where it is but we are at Kew Gardens which is one of my favourite places in London obviously a little bit further out from the centre of the city but such a beautiful beautiful place so uh, first on the agenda is we're going to get coffee maybe some nibbles just so that we've got some energy for the rest of the day and then we're going to head off and explore the garden okay so this is going to be our first port of call in Kew Gardens and it is of course the Palm House you can see some photos being taken here because Decenio do all of their, give us a wave <laughs> do all of that are you <laughs> they do a lot of their design in-house but these um, prints in particular are going to be uh, we don't use the word exclusive but they are essentially going to be exclusive to Decenio because we are taking these pictures today I say we not me but you know come on you I want to go up the metal stairs I'm getting dripped on by the water. The rainforest is getting me. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> what was you just saying downstairs? It's not that hot in here. Not that hot. What happened when you got up top? It's very hot. Sweating already. Dripping. Baking hot. Oh, it's warm up here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wishing I didn't have any hair. Monica hair is about Mon to happen. <laughs> Monica is about to happen. It's just, uh, literally this place, my favorite. So this actually inspired the little green area in our house, in our kitchen. This is why we came here just before Christmas. And this is what made us want to do that kitchen. Right, next up, we're going into the Water Lily House. This one is really pretty. Oh, there's Mr. Shmee. What? Is that? lilies. I know. Look at those, they're massive. Very pretty. Very pretty. <laughs> oh, look at the size of these. I really want there to be some fish and frogs, but I don't think there's going to be, is there? Because sometimes they're poisonous, aren't they, these flowers? No oh, but no. Just crocodiles. Just crocodiles. <laughs> right, now we have come <laughs> to the <laughs> bee That's man's it. favourite place, because he loves the bees. We've come to the hive, the beehive. I think this is new, new installation. We didn't see this when we came last I'm time. I'm going in, see in a bit. You <laughs> We've lost him to the beehive and it's basically this kind of educates everyone all about the bees because we've got to look after our bees and then all around the hive there's all these flowers which are kind of like really wild flowers which the bees love. Look. Wow. Look at 
No matter where we go, Emma always seems to manage to sniff out a cactus. Huh? Go to a food market, get a cactus. Come to Kew Gardens, get a cactus. Just love cactus, don't you? This one, we could have this one. Yeah, where? Somewhere. Somewhere. Look at the size of it, huge. Final stop in Kew Gardens is the temperate house. So this is the largest of all the greenhouses. And it's so pretty. Look. Look how awesome it is. But it's also very, very warm. Super, super warm. All the snaps are happening here. Woo! It's lunchtime. Woo! So this is our second location for London loving is of course Notting Hill because it is the most Instagrammable borough here in London. So we're going to go and have a mooch, probably have a look at Wild at Heart, the flower stall, find some cute pastel houses, coloured doors, all the usual Notting Hill shizzle. So I'm going to show you guys that as we go along but we're going to have to say goodbye to one member of the team who's going home for doggy, yeah, yeah okay. Not, not forever. Who's just going, for no, video. just for this video. He's going home for doggy duty. And, uh, and sunbathing, don't tell the yeah, boss. Yeah, and more likely sunbathing. Apparently he's got to get home to finish a video. <laughs> not sure about that. So wave bye-bye. Bye. 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 And another location of the day is of course one of our favorite landmarks, Tower Bridge. So the girls are doing some shots of the bridge very very good instagram spot for those of you who are always asking for the instagram spots this place is the best so what you need to do is come just in front of the tower of london which is here and this is the unobstructed view that you get of the bridge and if you come early in the morning there's no people around though now it is five o'clock moderate amount of people you can still get really really good picture though right here with the bridge in the background right that is a wrap i have just finished with the decenio girls so now i'm about to hop on the tube go home i can't wait to see what these prints look like so they're going to send me their selections in a few weeks and then i can see what all the shots have come out like Hello everyone, so it's been probably about a couple of months now since I spent the day with Decenio. Uh, we're now in September and I have just been sent this morning the PDF file with all the previews of the shot. So I kind of want to have a look at them with you guys. I've literally just opened the PDF and I can see the first one and a half prints. Um, but I would like to share the experience with you guys because this was quite a big deal because I picked all of these locations So here we have it. So this PDF is basically just showing me um, Here the image and then what size format that print will actually be available in and then obviously the name and title of the print so here we've got Westminster Bridge, that's so beautiful. It's funny because we actually had some issues because as you can see here, this is where Big Ben would be. Technically in the picture, Big Ben is about here. Um, but Big Ben at the moment is covered in scaffolding and will be for about a year. So yes, they've had to obviously crop that and just do a little lamppost scenario. Um, but then some detail on Westminster Abbey, Tower Bridge, so you would have seen that behind the scenes, we went to Tower Bridge, St Paul's, that was one of the locations that I didn't show you guys behind the scenes, but obviously it's a beautiful landmark in London. This is a London Eye, oh my god, I can't believe they actually got those birds in there as well. These were, so this door, we stood by this door for ages trying to get the right shot oh these are some of the black and whites which i think are really really beautiful look at this one oh my god that's literally so london this one here this shot of regent street um the girls actually leant out of the window on the top floor in the burberry store to get that shot so if anyone's looking for an instagram shot there you go secrets revealed so it's really nice to finally see all of the prints. I'm now going to pick some of the ones that I want. Um, I was a bit surprised to not see any from Kew Gardens because we actually spent such a long time there during our day. 
Um, however, I can so see with the vibe of all these photos that they are very sort of London landmark and architecture based. So I'm going to ask the girls and see if maybe the Kew Gardens ones might be used for maybe a slightly more green collection or something along those lines. Um, but yeah, I'm so happy with how they turned out and now I'm going to pick which ones I want. And then the next time I catch up with you guys will be when the prints arrive, which I'd imagine should be in a couple of weeks time, I think. So I will catch you then. Hello everyone. I've just had a very exciting delivery. My prints have arrived, so I'm going to I was going to say unbox, but they're in a tube, so I'm going to untube them and have a look. Well, this is very exciting. <gasps> look! Wow! Oh my gosh, look! This is one of the black and white ones. And then this massive one, you can see there, is the London Eye with little seagulls so I think I'm just gonna have a play around so I think I'm gonna just try this one in there because I believe that is the only one that comes in that large size I'll write all of the sizes and things of the prints that I have down in the description box below and then these all of which are already uh, decennio these I'm gonna swap over as well maybe I think to these I think I'd planned for these ones which are black and white but they have like the contrast hint of red so i'm gonna just have a play around with them and see ta-da look at those so i've just swapped over those um like line drawing flower ones for these i think this one we did wasn't notting hill it was more like mayfair area this one obviously st paul's cathedral and then this is like a really nice detail shot of some of London's finest architecture. And then the big one over here I have also put in, which is that ginormous London Eye one. But I'm going to have to take that off in a minute because I got a little bit of wood stuck in there off the frame. But I think they look pretty good. Um, now you might notice in these ones that we have taken out the perspex from in the frames. Just because of where they're positioned, we find that the window, the light from the window reflects on it. So we prefer it to be a bit more matte rather than shiny, like as you can see with that one there. But yeah, I like those. I think they look good. Hello everyone. I am down in the studio, as you might be able to tell pan around quickly it's looking a bit of a mess to be honest with you but let's just breeze past that for now um so yesterday i put up the prints in the lounge um but actually i received two tubes there was a slight delivery error so i've received double the amount of prints so i've come down into the studio and i thought i would put some up down here because we had these frames. Now these are not Decenio frames. These are frames from Ikea. They're actually not as nice as the Decenio frames. I would always opt for those rather than these. Um, but what I thought I was gonna do because they've been left empty for so long is fill them up with some of these prints that I've got. So I've got a massive one over there and I think the sizes are gonna be wrong so I'm probably gonna have to cut them down. But these black and white prints fit in these ones here. And then I'm going to be able to pop them up on the walls using these, if that's going to focus. <laughs> Command strips. So some of you might have seen me absolutely obliterating our um, dining room walls, or rather lounge slash dining room walls, a few vlogs ago when I put up those other prints from Decenio. Um, and so many of you suggested command strips. Now, it is too late for my fair dining room walls. It's too late. They've been hammered, nailed, drilled. You know, they're goners, to be quite honest. But the lovely, fresh, beautiful walls in the studio are still salvageable because I have yet to attempt to go at these with a hammer. So I'm going to use these command strips because the beauty of these as well, God, I feel like I'm doing another ad. It's not an ad, by the way, it's just that they're awesome. Um, the beauty of these strips is that you can move them around. So for us, we obviously do a lot of moving around in here. So I can put some 
prints up on there and then take them down and they don't mark the walls and you can move them somewhere else. So yeah, that's the plan of action for today. Now, before I sign off for this video, it wouldn't be a Decenio collaboration without a trusty discount code. So I normally have these discount codes a couple of times a year. I haven't had one in quite a long time. So I am now gonna share a discount code with you guys. So you can get 25% off and it can be off the studio collection, which by the way, doesn't just include London, it also includes Paris and New York, and they are in the studio cosmopolitan collections. It's basically like cosmopolitan cities. Um, so there's lots and lots of beautiful prints. I'll leave a link below for you guys to check them out. And yes, of course, you can get 25% off using the code that is on the screen right now. I'll also pop it down in the description box below for you. Um, and that is gonna be valid for, I think it's two or three days. I can't actually remember, so I'm really sorry, but I'll pop the information again down below. Um, so if you wanna buy any new prints, then you can jazz up your home. Um, the frames, I'll leave all of the information as well of the sizes and things that I have um, down below as well for you. And yeah, that's, that's it from me for this video. So I hope you've enjoyed kind of seeing behind the scenes and how this collaboration kind of came about. And I think for anyone that likes to buy prints for their home, sometimes you might often think, oh, you know, they've just hit Google images and found some images and they're making loads of money by printing them off. Well, they obviously now you guys can see how they put so much effort into their prints and they've picked me and some other influencers from the other cities to go and pick out their favorite spots. So you would get a little piece of decenio and a little teeny tiny piece of me on your wall as well. So thank you very much for watching this video, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye. Cleaning this rug. Oh, no so I'm going to show you guys what's inside. Hello.